Hello and welcome to A Word of Hope for the Feast of All Saints. I'm Father Scott Stein Kirshner here in Charlotte, North Carolina, is a friend of mine, Kathy Heine. We met in high school and then here at a family wedding with me, sainted mom and Kathy was nice enough to take us in instead of making us stay in a Motel 6. I thank you very much for that. You're a saint. You're welcome. You're a saint. <laughs> <laughs> we have all sorts of saints in the Catholic Church. And uh, that's the great thing about it, 500 different ways of being holy. They're not all holy in the same way. <laughs> Joan of Arc is not Francis of Assisi, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we have that in the readings today too. The Gospel is the Beatitudes from Matthew. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, Blessed are the meek, blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness. Blessed are the merciful. So many different ways to be holy. It gives you or me hope that maybe we can find some way to be holy. So, Kathy, do you want to be a saint? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Do you want to be holy and get to heaven? Yeah. Ah, there we yes. go. <laughs> yes. So what's the disconnect there? Because the saints get to heaven. Well, I don't feel like I'm personally a, a saintly type of person, but then again, when you think about the saints, they probably didn't think that they were saintly either. Um, but I do think that um, with, through God's grace, uh, we can find ways to be saintly every day, um, just little ordinary things that people don't even really give much thought to. Um, one of my favorite Beatitudes is blessed are the peacemakers. Um, I always think of my brother. Uh, my brother is very open-minded. Um, he never digs his heels in about an opinion. Um, he always listens um, and he, he honestly can put himself in other people's shoes and see their viewpoints, even though he may not agree with that personally. He certainly um, gives um, support in your opinion about that. And I really admire that. And so maybe Frank is a saint in the making, Absolutely. a saint on the way. Absolutely. <laughs> what does that help you be a saint in the making? It does, because when I see him um, do this so effortlessly, and he does it all the time. Um, it reminds me of the path forward and what I should be trying to do. Because you're not always the peacemaker. No, I am not. You're more always the, the coconut peacemaker. cracker sometimes. More, I am definitely more the <laughs> coconut cracker. <laughs> oh, very good. But there's time for that as well. Though that's yes. another scripture. So. I tend these Beatitudes can give us all hope. We all probably know some saints in the making, and they can help bring us along to heaven. <clears throat> they can pave the way for showing us a new path that maybe we didn't see. Because the thing about heaven, there's room for all of us. And as more of us get there, it doesn't get crowded. It gets more people pulling for us to come along. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll all one day join all the saints in heaven. That would be a lovely thing, wouldn't it? It would be very lovely. All right. I hope to see you there. God bless.